Good morning, people. Right. It has been an interesting week, to say the least. But I'll go into that later on, right? Things wrong with the van, work done on the van. Oh, just non-stop. But today we are heading down just outside of Eversham to meet up with uh, John and Jordan. I don't know how else is going to be there. But we are going to venture down to the South Central meet. So if you go if you go into that and I've seen you there, nice to see you, always a pleasure. You know what I mean? But yeah, I'm gonna, I've just popped into this campsite, this I use up here, um, literally just this morning, just to have a shower. I use 250p's, it's 50p for 10 minutes, right? 250p's, 20 minute shower, I didn't have a 20 minute shower. More like a 15, 15 minute shower. Do you know what I mean? It's nice. You know, when you, you, I've got, you know, <laughs> put 150p in, it's not enough. Put 250p in, you have to make the most of it, right? And wait for it to turn off and just stand there underneath the shower and wait. Oh, love that. Just the water hitting the top of me bald head. Love it, love it. But today, yes, we are going to head down to the South Central meet. But I've got an hour drive down to meet John. So let's get moving. And then let's see what the crack is. Hopefully we can have some nice fires and some, a few beers. Do you know what I mean? I've already done a shop, I've already done a shop. Order to the shop. Beers, beers are in. Beers are in. So with the van crying out for yet more money, we arrive in Eversham to meet up with John. Now while we wait for Jordan to turn up, and of course me being me, I had to break out the tools, get underneath the van and give everything a shake around to figure out what was going on. But look at that beast of a wagon, look at it. Well, Jordan and John are here, and now we are off to the South Central meet. But first of all, we need to go get Max. Max Van Life, no wait, no, Rusty Rose Adventures, sorry. <laughs> we need to go meet Max first, and then we're gonna come convoy in together. So we all park near each other anyway, because we're not allowed on the grass. Repeat it last time, we're all parked behind each other. So let's hope this one works out. Wow, we're at the most busiest service station in the UK, what it feels like. Just took me 10 minutes to get out of the services. And we've got Max and that over there. So yeah, we'll see. 
Everyone's got to try and get out of here so we can get to the meat. I'm gonna go that way. Come on, fucking chop chop. Come on, go, 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 go. It's all cold and horrible. It's all cold and horrible out. Do you know what I mean? Fucking hell. Um, there's not many people here at the minute. I'm assuming people are at work. So I think more people are turning up either tonight or tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, I'm fucking Hank Marvin. So let's make some food. I don't know what I'm going to make yet, but let's put something probably in the Omnia. Let's have some proper grub. Or actually, I don't even know what I've got. Let's have a look. Go with me. What do we have in the oven today? We have. Sweet chilli bites and Cajun chips. Oof. Nice and simple, nice and simple. Right, beer in hand. <coughs> Fucking hell. Don't serve a beer, that was a bad idea. I was just trying to do it for effect and it didn't really work. It just went frothy in my mouth and made me gag. Anyway, hmm. Well, while the food is in the oven, hang on, might be a fingerprint on the on the lens. While the food is in the oven and it is soggy and rainy and horrible, um, I thought I'd chip. Chat, thought I'd sit down and chat about what's happened in the past couple of days. Now, I didn't film it all because certain bits, there's just no point in filming it. Right? Some things I've shown you before, some things I just don't need to show you. You know, it's just one of them. You know, some things just don't work well with camera. There's no point in filming shit. It just doesn't really make any sense. Um, but yeah, so I went past my van the other day and I noticed that one of my tyres is wearing unevenly on the inside edge. So... Me being me, I wanted to investigate what was going on. Now, obviously, over time of using the vehicle, bouncing up and down curbs, you know, all sorts of stuff, your tracking will go out of place. Now, to go out of place so much to the point where my inside tyre was wearing down quite badly compared to the rest, because I always say how, how good these tyres are, you know, and I've had these on for, I don't know, about a year now. And it, but they still look like new, you know, it's only... Anyway, where was we? My battery went flat, sorry. 
Um, yeah, I noticed that one of my front left tyre was wearing on the inner edge. Of course, obviously me being me, I want to investigate why this is happening, right? So I jacked the wheel up, give it a good shake and a good pull around, and I couldn't feel anything, you know? And I know I know what to check and I know how to feel stuff, but on this kind of vehicle on the front, it's quite hard to pinpoint the ball joints going at fault. And the reason I say that is because it's got a leak. I have no idea why this camera keeps shutting off. Just one thing after another at the minute. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully it's stays on now. But yeah, I imagine you've got a leaf spring that runs through the middle. Big metal bar, right? It goes through to both ends, both lower arms. And obviously that flexes up and down and creates a suspension. Now hopefully that's a bit better. Apparently it came up with SD error on the screen, right? Which now I assume my SD card is probably corrupt and I've probably lost loads of footage. But it is what it is, hey? Hopefully that's not completely shot. Maybe it's just the camera playing up. But we'll find out, won't we, if this keeps playing. Well, it keeps recording. But yeah, it's so hard to find the play in the shocks and the ball joints because obviously the tension on the on the leaf spring is pushing down. So it's for a human being to try and bend that bar, you have to proper give it a yank. But when I took off... Yeah, so when I looked in my wheel arch, um, I could see a hairline crack. Now, I'll put a picture up of that on here. Um, and you'll see there's a hairline crack that runs along the side of the upper arm and I've all as you know already I've already replaced the right upper and lower control arm um, So the left control arm I thought okay Maybe it's that that's making the wheel sort of spread out a bit as it's you know flexing because it was cracked um, And causing the tire to wear funny so I thought okay let's replace that arm So I ordered myself another arm which came to something like 70 something quid uh, turns up um, I take the top arm off and then as I take the top arm off I notice the ball joint was gone as well which yeah okay that makes more sense it's playing in my head you know ball joint's gone it's going to start flaying in and out it's not that's how it kind of works um it wasn't until I grabbed the hub and I think I got a video of that as well so I put that in um and gave it a pull up and down you can hear that dunk 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 you know what I mean and I was like ah oh. so the bottom arm are gone as well now <laughs> I did not expect to have to pay best part of 200 quid to replace the um arms i said i was going to do it anyway but i kind of wanted to do it at my own pace you know <laughs> i was i'm one of these people that i like to fix things before they go wrong um if they look a bit tired do you know what i mean because obviously i love my van it's my home do you know what I mean? i've got to, got to look after it but that's only starting the iceberg so <laughs> I replaced the upper arm and then the lower arm, right? Then I start getting this little sort of like knock on the left as a sort of lean. And I'm thinking, what is that? What is, you know, the only thing I've done is to replace those, both those left arms. So I'm thinking to myself, on the way down here, when I might have met John, um, I got underneath my van and I'd, and I'd look around. I think, what's going on here? Because every time I would look, lean to the left, it would go dunk. And then to the right, it go dunk. And I'm thinking, I know this sound, but what is it? <laughs> anyway, right, so... In that meantime, I had some debushes, right? So I fit myself some new debushes on the anti-roll bar, thinking that, you know, maybe it was leaning, so the anti-roll bar was going clunk, and it was pushing from one side to the other, right? Which is quite, I've had it happen before, and it has been that before. But what I didn't think, obviously, when I've replaced Connor stuff, I was thinking, you know, then I would limit, eliminate those things out of my head. But while I was at, when I met John, I thought, you know what, let's get underneath and give everything a little roll, roll, roll around man the front. I checked every nut and bolt, Every bit of play that I could ever think of on one side, even jacked it up a bit on certain arms, just to see if I could get any play. Could I get any play? No. Everything on the front is solid. Everything on the front is new. Everything on the new front should not have a problem at all, right? But I still had this knock. So I turn left, dunk. Turn right, dunk. What is going on? But then I remembered, when I first got the van, it did that, right? And then I pinned it down to being the leaf springs at the back, the shackle bushes. Now, I replaced all the shackle bushes on my suspension on the rear because obviously, like I say, I want to make sure everything's right, everything's puck out, I want to drive nice and straight. But then it clicked in my head and I was thinking, you know what, this, this makes sense. You know, maybe it's my shackle bushes are gone again then. So I get underneath the van with a bar. Now, I'll try and put a picture in this if I haven't already, um, and try and understand what I mean. But what you've got is you've got the front shackle bush, which is fixed to the body of the van, right? Well, the chassis of the van. Then you've got let it run the, the leaf spring runs across from your axle up the other side to what you'd probably call a flex bar or whatever you want to call it. Right, we've got different names, but anyway, you've got like a, a a bush there and then a bush there, and then the leaf springs clamped to that one, and then it runs up to that one. So it allows that spring to sort of move up and down without flexing or breaking anything. Do you know what I mean? But 
I replaced that bush and that bush, right? The one at the top, which is mounted to the body, I didn't replace that bush because it looked all right the last time I looked at it. But now, coincidentally, after I placed the left arm and the upper and lower arm, that has decided to shit itself as well. So I need to find two bushes for that to replace them ones on this. But in the meantime, might as well just replace all the shackle bushes while I'm there. And just, yeah. I mean, it's another 70 quid out of my pocket I don't need to spend. You know, I, oh. Just one of those ones where it's like, I make money's out the window, make money's out the window. You know, and this last month has just been a right kick in the teeth. But my van, I swear, when it goes for an MOT, the MOT man best have an orgasm when he looks at it. Do you know what I mean? Because it looks phenomenal. But it is what it is. It is what it is. So hopefully we can get them bushes and get them sorted. But I thought I'd update you on what has gone on. So the first night there, everyone's just had a chill one. Uh, I went round John's van, had a couple of beers, watched a bit of TV. You know, this thing is like a flat on wheels. <laughs> Good morning, people. Good morning, people. I'm told, mate. I'm no. The kettle's going off. It's just about to boil. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> It'd be a standing joke with my channel after that video, wouldn't it? Um, you know, it's funny because there was like a last night. I obviously went to John's van, had a couple of beers over there, and good little catch up, you know. And I came back here, and I thought, right, oh, let's get some editing done, and I did quite a bit. Um, and I was on the laptop for a bit, even afterwards. You know, sometimes I'll get, I'll have. Too much, you know, you, you edit for a while and you're just like, you know, that's enough for now. Time to have a break. And I went back to like just watching YouTube shit, right? Um, <laughs> and obviously had the diesel heater on for quite a, like, all night. And I've woken up today to 95% battery life. I don't know what my batteries were on last night when I was finished, but by the time, like, it's not even a sunny day. Look, let me show you. Let me show you. It's even, bit, it's even a bit rainy, you know? It's even a bit rainy. But some more people have turned up. Uh, I don't even know what it's like the other side. Let's have a look. Yeah, so we've got some more over that side. I mean, obviously being now Saturday, Saturday? It's Saturday. Here's Saturday today. Um, obviously, more people will be turning up today. So, yeah, I had a nice lie in. Don't wrong, it's now just gone nine o'clock. Um, and my batteries are charged up to 95%. It's getting to that time of year. Do you know what I mean? Get a little happy dance. <laughs> But I'm making a coffee and I'm going to make an egg on toast for breakfast and then we'll get out and about and see what people are doing. No, actually, no. No, I won't. I'll tell a lie. I'm not going to leave this van until at least 12 o'clock. I'm going to set myself a rule to sit down and sort this video out. This one, I swear, because it's been all sorts of all over the place. You know, it's gone from like clips to little bits from different days to to voiceover stuff, to normal like tutorial stuff, not tutorial, but showing you what I'm doing, do you know, that kind of thing. And then back again, and, uh, oh, and then lots of music. Oh, that alongside my own job, right? It's two jobs and, <laughs> and the shit with the van. Oh, it's been a stressful few days. But yeah, I'm gonna get this sorted and then I'm gonna fucking get tacking that video for at least an hour or two and then, and then we'll carry on with our day because I'm hoping I can get that video up for tomorrow, which is the plan. So, fingers crossed, um, it all comes together. I've still got to make the thumbnail and all sorts. Oh. And we are done. And we are done. Now I can go and play. <laughs> I'm allowed out now. <laughs> oh, don't run. Once you get it all together and you sort of pin it all up, it's like, yes, that's the one. And you watch it back and you sort of skip across and watch bits. And you're like, fucking right. That kind of works. Do you know what I mean? So hopefully it does quite well. I mean, it's going up tomorrow. So we'll see. But 
that's uh, one of the kettle behind you, so if you can hear squeaking, it's probably why. Um, but let's go be sociable and have a look around, see what vans we can see, you know, see who's about. Because there's no point in coming to these places and just staying inside your van now, is there? So, this has got 48 minutes to process into HD. 48 minutes? Probably a bit quicker than that. Oh, oh, what's going on? Yeah, so that's just checking, so I'll just leave that now. I can do its thing. I can disappear now. But let's go, let's go. What? I'm running away. Look, I've just stepped outside the van. Someone's already shouted my name. Hello? Hello? I've been hiding away. Hello? Hello. Hello. MTV, welcome to my crib. <laughs> this is little Max. <laughs> welcome to my crib. What we got? Can have that floor is high, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Fucking have you got an obsession with peanut butter? That's uh... a <laughs> <laughs> pasta and shit. Ah, okay. <laughs> what do you like to do? I like, I like peanut butter. <laughs> Now, this, th this is Max, right? Max, no, wait, wait, you can't say Max Van Life anymore. No, you can't. It's Rusty Rose Adventures, right? With obviously his Merc. But this is the kid that's run everything on electric. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, yeah. you know, I keep talking about my 200 amp power le le uh, lithium battery. Sausage rolls cooked off the sun. It's cooked off the sun. Now, now what, how, how much have you got? How much amp power? I got 280 at 24, which is 560 as well. 560 amp hours of lithium battery and I've got 200 amp hours of lithium battery. That's just to put that into perspective. I've got 325 watts of solar on the roof. How many have you got? 1,200 1, watts of solar on the roof. <laughs> I mean, you're taking off grid to another level. I'll give you that one. <laughs> no, but know, fair play to you, power. fair play to you. Huh? I don't want to be stuck for power. I don't think you're going to be stuck for power, mate. <laughs> no. Yours here, then? Uh, no, it's not. Hey, up, Shagger. All right, Jakey boy. All right, yeah, Jakey I'll, boy. I'll tell you to use it now, because uh, that, no copyright. Good stuff. We don't do copyright here, mate. We don't do copyright later, here, remember. mate. How are you, bud? I'm all good. You're all right, you? Good man, good man. Sweet as? That's <laughs> quite stiff. What are you doing? You broke it. Oh, massive. Oh, what are, we all oh, at, uh, what are we looking at? <laughs> we're looking at a new floor. Oh, shiny. We still need more paint. This is good content, isn't it's it? Like, it's just content, isn't it? It's just something. <laughs> yeah. It's better than nothing. <laughs> shiny ring piece. I was going to say two to watch. One and two, watch it. <laughs> you two should have beer in your hands. That's what you should be. No, what you should do is one of you should get me a beer. <laughs> I can get you a cider. I'm oh. delegating. Oh. Oh, a bazooki or something. Just like a. We got like shit ton of lights on it and all that sort of shit. You're not supposed to want to bend over it, my mum, my back one. He's 20. Oh, no, it's good. Hello there. What are you doing up there? Are you vlogging? Do you call it vlogging or videos or what? I just call it um, that thing that like just provides this gnarly lifestyle. <laughs> Bad life, baby. Yeah, boy. Bad yeah. life, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. It's all right. I might cook a sausage later. <laughs> 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 I might cook sausage later if you want one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ooh. 
Well, it would be rude not to while we're here. Cheap piss beer, lovely, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> you run me over! Hello, there we are. Yeah, it's fucking sick. And that, that was my, that was my vibe. Um, it's happening. It's a chip batch. We're not having this conversation. It's a chip batch. Right, hey, this, this, batch. You listen. You listen here, right? Yeah, you know, we're gonna fall out, Mr. Bre Mr. 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 Black Country. Yeah, right? Mark, come around here you you fucking Coventry! Coventry! So after a firm debate of if it was a batch or a bun or a barn cake or whatever you want to call it, it's a bit of bread, right, at the end of the day. Right? <laughs> Jokes aside. <laughs> but yeah, it was lovely to catch up with the boys, you know. We got lovely if we all get together, you know, and John's big old truck made it really like Awesome place to be. Is this right. here, is it? It's, yeah, it's, it's freezing, oh, right? Mm. Yeah, it's they, freezing. They, they, they Look at these bad boys. Oh, when well, you got a milk bottle, like, it's like this. <laughs> gotta get, gotta get them out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be done. <laughs> <laughs> you can be one of us now. I know. I've got, <laughs> got, got a GoPro. <laughs> now, it was all packing up and it was time to leave. Now, it's always good to meet up with all the boys, you know, it's always good to catch up, see how everyone's vans are progressing, see people getting new vans, building. So just the passion in the whole place, you know, even coming to these little, little get togethers, you know, see everybody's builds getting on and you can help out, give ideas, you know. That's what it's all about. That's what Van Life's all about. But let's make a move. And I'll leave that one there. Don't forget to keep it real, keep it safe, keep it true, and I'll see you lot in the next one. Tada. See now, I know it's not perfect, but it's better than it was.